Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here again with another makeup of the week, but I wanna make it in celebration of Juneteenth. I'm gonna use all black owned. So I'm gonna start off with the eyes today and I don't know when last I pulled this out. The Pat McGrath, the Rose Gold 2 palette. So I'm gonna use this today. It's just sitting there getting cobwebs and it's such a beautiful palette. All right, so I set some powder down. So I'm not good at doing eyeshadow. I do the basic, what I can handle. But recently I've been using a little precise brush to just like carve out this area <laughs> and it helps in my eyeshadow placement. So I'm gonna take this purplish eggplant looking shade and I'll show you guys what I do. So like if you're like a beginner or you're like me, you're not that good with eyeshadow. And I just put it like, and I just carve out this area right here, like the V. I just follow the natural shape of my eye. With like a little precise brush. like I'm doing right now. And then I'll just take a fluffy brush, like a small fluffy brush, and I'll just blend it out. But still maintaining that preciseness, like in the corner. Every time I use her palettes, I'm reminded of how good her shadows are. All right, you know me, very simple eye. So I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm just gonna swipe it over my lid. And this is such a pretty shade, look at that. It's so nice. And I'm keeping it like mostly on the lid. So it has pink, it has purple, and it has some gold some gold flecks as well. Do you guys use your pat palettes a lot? Because I don't. But every time like I use it, oh my god, like it's unmatched. So I'm gonna take this white goldish kind of shade, put a little bit on my brow bone. I don't love uh, like shiny brow bone anymore, but. For this video, I will use it. And I'm gonna put it exactly like right on the brow bone. And this is, oh my God, what a stunning color. It has like shimmer with like pinks and gold as well. So nice. And I'm also gonna put some of that same shade in my tear duct and that's the eye look. Super pretty. I'm just using a smaller brush. This is from my Sonia G Sky Eye Set. Most of the times the brushes I use is this from the Sonia G collection. I'm just stuck on those and they've been great. The hairs barely come out. I've had them now for a good little while. And I'm like really happy with them. All right guys, lashes and liner done and these shadows are, like I said, unmatched. All right, so for the face, I have my little tray. I've been enjoying this so much. It just gives me a chance to really get into my makeup, look for stuff, put my tray together every week. I had it in my head I was gonna do black owned brands. I was there going through my stuff. It's been so much fun. All right, so um, I'm bringing a little bit of Juvia's Place, the Radiant Booster. And I color corrected. I didn't have too much color correction from a black one brand, but I color corrected. All right, so for foundation, I decided to go in with the Yummy Skin Serum Foundation from Vanessa Myricks. I have it in the shade 18G. This you have to, to shake a lot because it tends to separate. It can separate. And you know with this, you get a lot of, you get beautiful, like, dewy skin 
like I said, I have the shade 18G. I haven't used this in a while, and this is why this whole makeup of the week is so much fun. I really get to use my makeup. Initially, like when you put this on, it feels so serumy, and to me, it smells like fresh aloes and cucumber. It just feels and smells good. And I think it's great for um, dry skin. Look how pretty that is. Look how nice it just sits down on the skin. So pretty. Look at that. And while I was going through, um, you know, looking to see to get my tray ready for this week. I'm hoping to have this up on Wednesday, on Juneteenth. When I was going through um, my makeup, I got some really bad um, foundations. My dog is at it again. I've never seen a dog like that. She doesn't like to be outside. As soon as you put her out, she barks to come back in. I had to throw out my Pat McGrath foundation. It was just like, it was so separated. You can see like stuff floating in it. I threw out my Dior. I had to throw out quite a bit. And I was like, wow. Because they were just sitting there. They just, they just weren't good. I should really find whatever women's shelter is around me and really donate some of those foundations. Because when I was going through, because I have a bunch on that side in front of me, not in these drawers. A lot of them I haven't used in like over two years. So I don't know. All right. So for concealer. I'm going in with Win Beauty by Miss Serena Williams, and I have the shade M. I love this concealer so much. Now, it's not going to be like a brightening concealer with this foundation, but I don't care. It's good enough for me. It's so good. I keep saying I have to go to Ultra to get a lighter shade, and I will. I'm really going to try. And this concealer, you really don't need a powder. Like, if you don't want a powder, you don't have to with this concealer. But I cannot not powder. So I always use powder, but you really don't have to. Like, if your skin is really, really dry, especially, like, in the like summertime, I would suggest definitely. I mean, it's hot outside. I mean, um, we're expecting some hot days. Well, I guess it depends on where you are, but... Like in the winter time, if you really don't want to powder this, this is stayed in place, hardly any creasing. So good. She does she does such an amazing job with this concealer. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Alright, so to contour, cream contour, I'm going in with my LYS. This was so much fun, like picking out it's mostly like the top black owned brands, but it was so much fun. So going in with LYS. Um, foundation stick. I have it in the shade Strength. This I haven't used in a while, so. This is just creamy goodness. It feels good till I get back to it. It just, look at that, just glides on the skin. And very, very easy to blend out. I think if you don't own this, where have you been? I think <laughs> everybody owns this. And it's always in the TikTok shop. People are always talking about it. Next time I purchase, I'm probably going to purchase it from the TikTok shop. And it's already reasonably priced though. But you can get it even cheaper in the TikTok shop. How easy it is to blend out. My mirror is like angled over here so I keep looking this way. I wish I could bring my mirror in the center but if I do it'll it would like block my camera. I feel like my skin looks so um so amazing. The, this concealer and this foundation and this is what I also like about this whole tray of the week. You get to see what works together, what looks good together. And what I usually do, I usually keep using everything, even after when I after I finish uploading the filming, I keep my tray out and I use most of the products, so I really get good uses like out of it. All right, so before I go in with powder, 
I want to do cream blush and remember when I when I talked about products that um that I purchased but I don't use I talked about all my LYS blushes so I said let me pull out an LYS blush to use and this is in the shade passion I have all her blushes and I was just buying them because look at this color you won't really see me with a blush like this but I'm like Juneteenth black home brands let's go all out so I'm gonna go in with a damp sponge and I'm not gonna put a whole lot but I'm excited to use this and I think oh girl I have a heavy hand eh, whatever <laughs> I just said I'm going all out and now I'm shocked I should have known the pigment was coming it's pretty though it's a beautiful shade though so I guess I'm doing the rosy look I wasn't planning on it but this is nice all right so you know I've been loving my Patrick Star under eye powder and loving my MAC powder super powder so I was like what powder am I gonna use so I prefer to set all over my face before I do the under eye so the only powders I because I don't like I said I gave away one of the Nessa Myricks loose powders but I don't really love her loose powders so I just went in with I got my Fenty powders back out and I don't know like the my OG subscribers you know every time I did my makeup I used hazelnut to set so I'm gonna go back to it today and I like to use this with my sponge now this is not a full coverage powder just this is more on the sheer side but I like it because it doesn't make me look matte or cakey. It's very light, very finely milled. And it has a nice golden undertone. And it does what it's supposed to do. See, so it doesn't take away too much of the shine. It's very light. It sets but it just gives, and your skin still looks nice and healthy with it. So for under eye, I was thinking, what am I gonna use? So um, I'm using another Fenty powder. This is in the shade Cashew because it's lighter. I've never used the Fenty powder under my eyes. I don't, no, I used to use honey under my eyes. That's a lie. So, okay, um, I gave my sister honey. So I have Cashew. This has some peach in it. So I was like, this, this is gonna be good and it is Fenty. I didn't really have much, a lot of choices. And I pull back out my Pat McGrath Her Press Powder. I have it in medium deep, yellow, and deep. I brought out deep because deep, it says deep, but it, it's light. I haven't used this in a while as well. So I said, you know what? This is going to be perfect for this video. Let me just make sure I don't have any pleasing. See? This hardly gives um, creasing. It's wind concealer. So I'm gonna, because I love a pressed and then a loose powder. So I'm gonna start off with the Pat McGrath and this is in deep. Oh. Oh, I forgot this had, this had some sheen to it. Oh, this has more sheen than I thought. I don't remember it having this much sheen, but it sure does. Okay. Okay, Pat. It snatched my under eye though, right? Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, this is going to be staying in my tree. Yep, because sometimes I'll, I'll swap stuff out. This is not being swapped out. But since I brought, I don't even want to use it now, but since I brought it out, I will use it. And this is what I try to do. Whatever I bring out, I said I'm committed to it and I'm going to use it. So I'm going to bake a little bit with cashew, but mm, Pat is looking really good. And I think when I was using this powder under my eye, I didn't discover, I didn't discover the powder puffs. I think I was using, um, Whatchamacallit. I think I was using a brush. I think the puffs 
the pu the powder puff makes a huge difference. It makes a huge difference. Oh, I made such a mess with this powder. It makes a huge difference with um, how it sets concealer, and it makes a big difference with the under eye powder, at least for me. All right, let's clean it up. Uh, these two together, not bad, not bad. I think I discovered another good combo because I've been obsessed with the Huda Beauty and the Patrick Star combo, but this is looking really nice. Wow, look at that. See, ladies, bring out your stuff. Get your makeup tray. If you haven't done it, don't be like me. Bring it out. All right, I did bottom liner. I mean, I know I keep talking about what's great about this makeup of the week. It keeps you organized because like sometimes I'm doing my makeup, I'm checking for this, I'm pulling this out and I make a huge mess. Now I, I have this little um, container with my makeup and I'm just reaching in there. So I'm not digging all over. My makeup is not like scattered everywhere. And especially when I film, because sometimes when I film, you think a tornado passed through. I'm not dealing with that anymore. All right. So let's... Let's do powder bronzer. I brought out my Fenty, I'm using a lot of Fenty. The powder bronzer, this is in Thick Mint. I noticed the pan popped out. So I'm being very like um, careful with it. It happened the other day. I think I was organizing something and I noticed it was um, popping out a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna Put that right beneath, that has pigment. Put it right beneath the um, the blush. I should have used the smaller side. Yeah, doesn't matter, I'll clean it up. You guys know how I feel about bronzer on my forehead. I'm very generous. All right, so over top of this beautiful blush, because it's looking really pretty now, I'm gonna put a little bit of the Danessa Myricks Her Cream to Powder. Also gonna use my sponge, and this is in the shade, in, shade Incognito. I'm just gonna tap that right there. This is so pretty, this if you haven't gotten this yet, what are you waiting for? <laughs> it's good. But then it depends on if you're a highlighter person. I'm a highlighter person. That's why I loved... Did you guys see my um, Patrick Ta video with his highlighters? That's the highlight of the summer, in my opinion. It's good. All right, guys. Let me just set, and I'll be back with the lips. All right, guys, I'm so impressed with how my under eye look. I packed my breath powder. I think it was that just snatched it. Wow. And I use my, fin my Fenty Hella Thick for my mascara. I just want to mention it because, you know, I'm using black bone brands. All right. So for lips, using a brown lip liner. I'm going in with Juvia's Place Lady. You know me and my nudes. But you know, my cheek is pink. I have like pink purple in my eye. I don't want to wear like pink lips. I don't like it the whole, you know. So I'm gonna do a nude. And this is a beautiful nude um, from Juvia's Place. It's called Lady. Okay. Isn't that a pretty nude? They have the best lipsticks. So good and so creamy. It's such a beautiful, and this is like a pinky nude, so I think it goes perfectly with this look. It's a nice, soft satin finish. It's not as matte. No, it's delicious. <laughs> and you know that they have um, good prices. You can find these at Ulta. If you've never tried a Juvia's Place lipstick in the bullet, Go ahead and try it. All right, guys. I have to perm my hair, but I'm waiting because I'm going on vacation a couple weeks and I don't want to perm my hair and then I'm out in the sun and sweating. 
So for now, you guys can get the wish. <laughs> All right, guys, this was so much fun. I enjoyed this so much. I'm love it. And again, for everybody who suggested this whole makeup of the tray, of the week tray, you guys are the real MVP. I love this so much. You don't know how much of my makeup I'm reaching for now. Excited to put it in my tray um, to start the week. And I love how this came out. I think I'm leaving everything in the tray for the rest of the week. But maybe I might be putting in that Patrick Ta highlighter. <laughs> All right, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.